So first up, I'm cleaning with Cuts and Millie Clean Cut. Um, I have it pre-mixed in a bottle with um, water. So I go through and clean. I'm only doing it at the top at the moment because I plan to sand. And then go back over it with some clean water. So you see me here, I'm putting on an 80 grit disc, I think it was, and um, sanding through, sanding through. This is when I get to the point where I realise that the top isn't actually solid wood. And I'm bitterly disappointed. So I went from an 80 to a 120 and then I bat back to the 80 just to try and cut through some of the varnish and the um, top coat. I was just super careful not to go back over the edge and plan to hand sand the parts that I miss.
So it's early on a Friday morning and I am going to try and um, give a gentle sand between coats of the green paint. Um, obviously I love the colour, it's my suffused paint. So um, I also last, so of course I forgot to um, press record but I did add this to the inside of the doors and to the shelves. I'm still going to paint inside, but I think I'm going to paint it a contrasting colour, so maybe white or even a lighter green. Um, but I think the front looks really great after the first coat. So I'm going to keep going and yeah, good morning. that I'd burnt through on the veneer. So here I am adding a little bit of Katsumili Boutique Top Coat to my roller tray and um, I'm hoping that it is enough to provide protection from the inconsistency in the substrate. so I'm gonna paint the inside of these cabinets um I don't want to use my good cuts and Millie stuff on them so I'm just using this um, little mist tint things from Bunnings this one's in a really pale I'm hoping that it's a blue but I can't really see it's like a grayy blue or a white I think I'm gonna go with this one I just still want it to have a green tinge to it so I'm going to have to retake around because I'm pretty bad at, obviously. 
as you can see from my rage rolling incident of keeping in the lines. <laughs> This is after three coats of that pale green. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I still need to do the stain, although I'm thinking I might just top coat it because I like that color. And then we head over here. And so I've done two coats of a, the gold spray and I've sealed it just sealed it with this stuff that I had on hand just sort of to toughen it up long lasting non-tarnishing finish it's probably not it is probably just a similar, similar to a clear top coat but whatever I'd be more protection than just the spray <laughs> Here is where I've tried to clean it off. I'm gonna to have to resand that bit because a bloody bird got in here and I don't know what happened, why it's that color, but it got on here and we got a few spots. So we're gonna to have to sand it and redo it.
So I've just applied um, a couple of coats of the Carts and Millie Boutique Top Coat, the satin finish, on the entire piece. Um, I'm just about to reattach the hardware. Um, I did actually forget to record the process, but it's still drying over here. It's still drying here. But yeah. All the left now is to reattach the hardware and boom, we are done. thanks for joining me again guys so everything that was used will be on the below in the description as well as the carts and millie affiliation links which if you use um, then a small portion of that goes to the creator um, I hope you enjoyed this one I think it looks great a bit of a view from the top so, so yeah thanks for sticking with me again um, if you're interested in seeing the staged photos, they'll be up on my Instagram and the link for the link tree will be in my bio, I guess it's called. Um, yeah, so thanks again and hopefully I'll see you on Friday for a next video. I don't know what I'll be doing. I've got a few things happening. I've got this nice tall boy, a hall table, entry table, Got some bookcases. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, thanks guys. See you again next week.